What's up guys, it's Ross, and in this video I'm going to show you what's in my bag. Uh, this is my adopt kit, so essentially it's just a toiletry kit that I bring with me when I travel. But it contains the most important streamlined and essential skincare products. Because uh, I don't like to bring a lot of crap with me when I travel. So if you're curious to find out what my favorite products are to bring with me that are multitaskers and like I said the most essential stuff, stay tuned. Alright guys, just a heads up, um, I have a lot of products here, so it's going to seem really quick, but I don't want to make a 20 minute long video. Um, also keep in mind, I recommend all these products, and I've been using them for quite a while. Some of them are among my all time favorites, and I use these things to get ready for this video. So essentially, if you're trying to achieve a look similar to this, definitely check these products out. Um, first off, I got my bag here. It's from the PC for Men. It's a brand new line that I uh, got my hands on. So when I got all the whole uh, range of products, they sent me this bag and I freaking love it. I've never had like a really nice travel bag and this one kind of just made me realize that I was missing out the entire time. And I don't know, it just works really well for me and I've been enjoying it. So thank you, Paul's Choice. Um, but to get started, let me talk about what I use in my hair. So. I'm still, I don't know, my hair goes back and forth. I like cut it short and now I'm kind of growing it long again. But for this look, um, what I do is I shower and then I kind of towel dry it. And then you take some mousse. And the one that I use is the Tresemme. It's the extra firm control mousse. And you just kind of towel it through your hair, get a nice, like a light, I do like an egg shaped size ball, run it through my hair. And then I use a blow dryer just to blow it out in the direction that I want it. So I kind of bring it this way with a comb. Then, um, I've been using this a lot recently, but I've had it for literal years, this one can. It's uh, Murray's Pomade, and it's essentially just petrolatum, mineral oil, and fragrance. But it does a great job at just keeping your hair where you want it, because after you blow it out, it's gonna be a little bit fluffy, kind of all over the place. And then you can just use a little bit of this stuff to put it exactly where you want. And the best thing about this stuff, guys, it's literally $3.50. And I have had this for years. Now, I don't use it every day because it can be really hard to get out of your hair. But if you want kind of more of a natural look without a ton of hairspray or whatever, keeping it in place, this stuff does good. And after I did my May Favorites video, I did fall in love with a totally different uh, hairspray, and it's this one, guys. The Bedhead um, Hardhead Hairspray, it's awesome. It doesn't add a lot of shine, and it is expensive. It's like $18 a can, but it does a really good freaking job. And I found it at Ross, though, for $9.99. So I had to pick it up just to try it, and I really fell in love. I can't see myself using another hairspray from now on, just because it, it keeps everything in place and it doesn't add like a lot of shine, just a little tiny bit. So that's how I got this look with my hair, and I've been kind of liking it, digging it really. Um, so, so moving right along to my face, um, when I pick face uh, products to travel with, I usually choose things that are kind of small and compact in size that don't take up a lot of space, and also that are effective, and like I said before, multitasking. Um, when it comes to moisturizers though, I always bring one for the day and one for the night. So for the daytime, I love this product by Proactive. I've been using it for a while. It's not one of my all time favorites, but it does the job and it's inexpensive and it just works. So by Proactive, it's their oil-free moisturizer with SPS 15. Um, it's just a lightweight hydrating moisturizer and it gets the job done. At home, when I have a lot of more time to really do my full skincare routine, I probably wouldn't choose this one, but if I'm just trying to keep it quick and easy when I'm on vacation, I'll reach for this product. Um, now, so I'll put that on, and then of course, if there's any shine left behind, I will put on a little bit of powder. And this is truthfully one of my all time holy grail products. Again, uh, it's by Paul's Choice, and this is their Healthy Finish Press Powder. And as you can see, I've already kind of hit the bottom there, but I will put this on with just a big fluffy brush like this one from Real Techniques. Just swirl it around there, and then you can just do this all over your face to take away shine. Best part about this product is that it will mattify your skin, but it also has SPF 15 in it to give you just that little bit of uh, extra protection. 
Now, the sunscreen that you'll get from this product isn't really uh, sufficient on its own, but it's a great add-on if you're already wearing sunscreen, just to make sure. This stuff blends perfectly with my skin. Uh, the shade that I use is Flaxen, and it just works. But it's multitasking, because you know what else I'll do? Is I'll take this and then a smaller brush, like this one from Real Techniques. This is the setting brush. And I'll just dab it in. Okay, you don't need that much. And then just put a little under my eye, just like that. And that'll help um, conceal some of the dark circles that I chronically have under my eye. And again, because it's the same shade that I'm using on the rest of my face, it blends in perfectly. It just makes me look awake when sometimes, you know, when you're traveling, we have late nights. Um, so again, I'll use that and then I put it all over my face and then I'll just concentrate a little bit here under my eyes with a small brush. Both of these brushes have been really my favorite recently. This is the Power Brush and the Setting Brush by Real Techniques. They're super inexpensive. And this, again, is multitasking because if you want to do a bronzer, you can kind of squeeze it like this and then just get a bronze in like that, like that. And speaking of bronzer, I've been using this one by Paul's Choice also. It's their Sun Kiss Bronzer. So the benefit, it's two different shades in one and you can kind of create whatever, if your skin tone's lighter or darker, you can get any kind of look. But I've been using the darker shade for me, because uh, it's summer here, so there. And then I always put bronzer here, here, and then on my cheekbones like this. It's really hard to do on the camera, okay? And it kind of gives your face a little bit more dimension because you can get a really flat looking face just by using powder. Um, some people might really like this. I just happen to like the darker shade, but some people might like the lighter shade. And it's completely matte finished. So going along with the not being shiny, um, it works pretty well. Now, moving on. Oh, of course, if you're traveling, you cannot forget to bring a good concealer with you. This is another one that I've been using for literal years. Um, it's by Ben Nye, and you can see it's pretty beat up. But the benefit of it is that it has four different shades all in one as a concealer, and clearly I've been using one of them more than the rest. But this is their cover all wheel. So if you do get a blemish on vacation or if you want to cover up your under eye bags, you can reach for this stuff. You can get a perfect shade because there's multiple shades to choose from. Whether you have a little bit more red in your skin, if you're a little bit more yellow like this one, um, or for me, I don't know, this one shade just seems to work really well but it's a multitasker. So you can cover a pimple, you can do your under eye bags, whatever you want. And then again, every time you use concealer, you have to set it. So like I have a pimple up here, you just dab it with the little setting brush to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So yes, that's what I do. Now for nighttime, uh, you really just need to wash your face. And the face wash that I love when I travel is this one, it's almost gone by a brand called Bliss. It's the fabulous foaming face wash. It's got little micro exfoliating beads, so it kind of cleanses and exfoliates at the same time. Um, and it just does a great job at not drying the crap out of your skin, which seems to be a really consistent problem with a lot of uh, skincare cleansers. So, and I think this one is like a really popular option at, at Sephora, but I have a little mini travel bottle and as you can see, I'm almost out of it. I'll definitely be buying more. So at nighttime, you wanna keep it simple. You wash your face, maybe you use a toner if you want. And then my all time favorite moisturizer for nighttime is again by Paul's Choice. Not to keep throwing Paul's Choice in your face, but really the products just work and I truly believe in them as a company. Um, this is the Resist Barrier Repair Moisturizer. And it's just, it has retinol, it's got antioxidants, it does an amazing job of keeping my skin hydrated and repairing uh, my skin while I sleep at night. And that's one way that I really keep fine lines and wrinkles and keep my skin even uh, by using really well formulated products when I sleep. And this is one that I've repurchased and repurchased over and over again. And I mean, you get 1.7 ounces, that's the standard size for a moisturizer, and it's very reasonably priced. So I would recommend this, and you're never too young to start using you know, anti-aging skincare products, because when it comes to anti-aging, it's all about prevention. 
So, I mean, I just highly recommend this one. And the packaging is great for traveling because it's secure, it's got a hard cap. I know it's not gonna explode and go all over the place. So this one can come with me everywhere I go. Um, and lastly, guys, you know, I don't leave the house without my blue chapstick. This is an all-time skincare essential that I can't live without. So you know I bring one of these with me when I travel. All right, guys, and that's it. I mean, I keep it pretty straightforward when I travel. I try not to bring in all this extra frou-frou stuff that sometimes I might use at home. Um, you know, when I'm traveling, it's all about getting out and having a good time. So that's what I do, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, check this out. I'll put all the products below this video. So if you want more information, click on the links. Take care, guys, and thanks for watching.